Good evening, I'm Megan Mannering. And I'm Larry Smith. Glad you're with us. A Clark County business that will celebrate its one year anniversary in June got some unexpected backlash this month. The Crystal Coven Mystic College has been accused of practices that its owner says simply aren't true. LEX 18's Rachel Richardson sat down with the owner and a local pastor who attended a community meeting yesterday. She takes us to Winchester in tonight's big story at six. I have a multitude of stones, crystals, jewelry, incense, herbs, spices, teas. Crystal Coven Mystic Cottage has been in Winchester for a while. All of the stones are meant for some type of energy protection, energy healing. The shop's owner, Shannon Tipton, says her interest started when she was a teen. Um, I was gifted my first crystal. Um, and started working with crystals then. A couple of weeks ago, Winchester Clark County Tourism posted an aura photo event the shop was hosting. Since then, she's faced accusations. Um, I've been, it's been said that I'm a devil worshiping witch. I'm a satanic shop. None of that is true. This community had a special called meeting about the shop on Tuesday. Clark County District 4 Magistrate Mark Miller sent me this statement about the meeting. It says in part, quote, the people who object to this believe that the tourism department should not promote any business that sells witchcraft materials. Others believe that tourism should not promote any type of spiritual events. Here's the number one thing. I believe anybody has a right to be able to have any business that they want to. Grace Bible Church Pastor Lee Cruz was at Tuesday's meeting. For tourist attractions and things, this was, we didn't feel this was uh, necessarily the way we wanted our community to be perceived in that way. That's all we were saying. Shannon shares she's disappointed that no one reached out to her directly. She says texts, direct messages, and emails circulated instead. She's not the only one affected. Um, I have folks that are afraid to come in. Um, they're afraid that they're going to be targeted. I've had customers to be messaged, um, to be told that they're going to hell. It's not so much a moral issue as I believe that uh, the good Lord, uh, if he wants us to bless our community and bless what we're doing, then as a result of that, uh, we have to do the things that would bring blessings to us. Shannon says this is an alternative practice for healing, for health. She thinks people have the wrong idea about this lifestyle. Um, we are all given freedoms of religion, freedoms to believe the way that we do, to be able to share what we believe in. But when we do that, we need to make sure that we are doing that in love and light um, and not using those freedoms as a veil to hide behind. In Clark County, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News. Pastor Cruz says although he thinks they wouldn't have a lot in common, he would be willing to sit down with Tipton and continue the conversation.